welcome my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. I have a beer that was sent to me by my good friend Gail, and this was a Beer of the Month Club selection. Oh, from the Flying Fish Brewery. They're located in Somerdale, New Jersey. This is the XPA, described as a Citra Pale Ale. Oh, it's definitely brewed with Citra hops, no doubt. El Dorado, Warrior, mmm, some good hops in there. Checks in at 5.2% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 27. Again, no date on this beer. Man, I tell you, I can count uh, on one hand over the years, over the years, how many uh, beers came to me from Beer of the Month Club selections that had a date on. I think they do that on purpose. I really do. Most of the time, their beers are very good. Now, this is a pale ale, and it has a lot of hops in here. So if it's an old beer, the hops are definitely not going to shine through, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and pour it in here. Oh, it's a very clear pour. It's making a lot of carbonation. Oh, it's a very clear beer, too. Oh, <laughs> you can definitely pick up the orange in there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely pick up the orange, a little bit of grapefruit in there as well. Now, I think that we have uh, high hopes for this beer because it poured out with a very nice amount of foam. It's got lively carbonation streaming up from the bottom. If it were an old beer, it wouldn't have either one of those things. An old beer will initially make a good amount of foam, but it'll fizzle out rather quickly, and it won't have this kind of carbonation streaming up from the bottom at all. It'll be rather flat. That's got a lot of orange and grapefruit in there. Let's see if I can find anything else. Ah, that's about all I get is that orange and grapefruit. Very prevalent. Hey, Gail, thanks for sending this beer. I certainly appreciate it. Many thanks to the brewers there at Flying Fish. And cheers to you at home. Oh, that's a good beer. Yeah, that's a damn fine beer. Yeah, it's very tasty. Oh, man, I'm starting to sweat in here. You know what? It's, it's kind of warm in here today because it's 82 degrees outside, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo-wee, baby. I'm going to have to crank that AC up, I guess, huh? <laughs> or have some extra cool beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of that, let's get the rest of this in here. This is a very good beer. It has that lovely uh, orange and grapefruit up front. It's got some lovely floral hops in there, and it's got a nice dry finish to it. Oh, man, that, that, uh, that aroma is great. That's a very easy drinking beer. Although it's well carbonated here in the glass, I would describe it as a low to medium carbonation with a low to medium mouthfeel. There's nothing robust about this beer. I think this beer is intended for the warmer months, and we're coming into summertime now here in Northeast Ohio, so this will be a great patio beer or backyard barbecue, whatever you want to do. Yeah, this is a very easy drinking beer. Remember, it's only 5.2%. The IBUs are super low at 27. It's not intended to be a bitter beer at all. It's a very good beer, though. It has a slight amount of bitterness, but it is a very dry finish. What makes it superb to me? Oh, yeah, superb. Mm. I had this beer once before a long time ago. My good friend Jonathan sent me. This beer, man, this is a great beer. I've had several beers from Flying Fish. I've uh, I've bought a few myself. Some have been sent to me. It's a great brewery. If you ever get the chance, try out their beers. They're in Somerdale, New Jersey, and they make killer beers, baby. All right, let me run out of here, my friends, because life is short. you got to be happy, and that includes drinking great craft beers like this one right here from Flying Fish. Until we meet next time, cheers.